Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, race seven at Saratoga on uh, Saturday, July 29th. The, the four horse is uh, Doorknock. This is made the Kentucky coming Derby out of the track for the seventh. Younger brother. It's a full brother. Scratch 10, Active uh, Mutiny, and 12, Hurricane Nelson. The 11 runs. And, this is the uh, start the of the $1 pick Kuka. six. Two hundred twenty-two thousand. Uh, he's the currently the favorite at five to two. Balance of the program. And uh, anyway, I thought I'd record this. Of course, we'll be heading straight my, to the gate. YouTube channel because if I do like follow the horse. Race seven, the time is now. And uh, I'm I'm a big fan of Mage. Uh, I saw Mage win his maiden race, and uh, and then uh, <laughs> I I took a chance and I bet him in the in the Kentucky Derby futures at 75 to one. And sure enough, he, you know, he won. And, uh, that was a great day for me. Anyway, they've had a lot of rain, uh, at Saratoga in the last uh, couple hours. They say the track is muddy. Um, one of the races was uh, delayed quite a bit. And, uh, so, uh, here we are. And, uh, it's post time and they're just, uh, getting, they're running a little bit late, but I'm trying to get a, a look at number four here. See if you can get a look at him before the race. As you can see, the track is wet, but it's it, right here. It isn't bad. Dornock is currently five to two, and the second favorite is, uh, well, actually the eight is a co-favorite at five to two, and then the next uh, horse they like is the eleven. So uh, if you if you bet the odds, then uh, it would be the four eight eleven. That would be the chalk. But, uh, here the horses are approaching the starting gate. What I've heard about uh, Dornock is that he's bigger than Mage, and uh, and he may be faster. Um, we'll have to see. But uh, you know, Mage won his first race at uh, at seven furlongs. This is a six and a half furlong race, and. Uh, Mage has been known to uh, have trouble getting out of the gate. We'll have to see what, uh, what, how Doorknock navigates the gate. And there he is. There's Doorknock right there. Number four. He does look like a big horse. He is a big horse. Holy cow. Luis Saez has the uh, the mount. But, uh, Mage's grandsire, Mage's uh, dam's grandsire was a big brown. So uh, maybe this horse got uh, a little bit more of a big brown's uh, genes because big brown was a big horse, but he Big Brown had a tremendous uh, acceleration. And, uh, of course, both Big Brown and uh, Good Magic were tremendous uh, uh, stakes horses. Um, people thought uh, Big Brown should have won the, uh, the Triple Crown. He won the, uh, the Kentucky Derby in the Preakness. And then he had, uh, apparently he had a shoe problem in the... Uh, in the Belmont, and they he pulled up. A lot of people never forgave his trainer for that, but uh, I mean, you know, this is horse racing, and you know, all kinds of things can happen. But um, anyway, actually, the eight has now become a, a stronger favorite than the four. I'm not going to bother looking up the uh, 
information on the eight because uh, I'm watching. It's the post time. Orders. They're moving in, and I've already made some small wagers. But this is a maiden race, you know, and uh, most of these horses haven't run. <coughs> So you don't really have a lot to go on. Uh, but anyway, here, we're headed to the post. Number one's in there. It was number seven. Number two. Sees the gray going in. Lambeau and Holton. Global perspective. Yeah, boy, oh boy, look at the size of number four. He's a huge horse. Thank you, Lafitte. Private Desire Louis will be the Sia next one to come forward. Page in the uh, Goes Florida in. Derby. And Skip uh, the line he got and the to pass for the last. Day. Stall. Forte came back in, in the last uh, in the gate. bit of the stretch and passed Mage, but Mage took second, and that's what gave him uh, 50 points to uh, and get into the they're off. Kentucky Derby. Global perspective right, is very so fast. Sees the gray flashing sharp early speed, too, and battling it out for the early lead. So Sees the gray takes the lead. Lambeau now second. Devil's Playground. Just a length and a half off them. Now dropping back to the fifth spot. Passed by both Dornuck and Private Desire is racing in between in a little bit of a tight spot. It's a gap of four to the next flight. Headed by drum roll, please. Inside, skip the line. Then global perspective. Now nine off the pace with less than a half mile to go. Divine Empire and Holton at the back. 22 and just under three-fifths of a second as they round the far turn. And it sees the gray and Lambeau who have been duking it out on the front end. Devil's Playground three deep at the rail. Dornock is firing is a good shot. There, Coming boy, after uh, the top pair and in between those two, Private Desire. And from the back and of the field, Holton trying, the trying to wind up has a dozen to make up at the top of the stretch. Where Seize the Gray like is the Dornock leader. Is, uh, opens up a two-length advantage. Lambo on the outside is in second. Here. At the rail, here's Drum Roll, please, who has surfaced from well out of it trying to get a piece. Private Desire on the outside and Global Perspective. Seize the Gray. Sees the gray the for Hall of Famer D. Wayne Lucas wins convincingly. Dornock, Dornock in a photo with a hard charging global perspective in 117 and 4. Anyway, well, there again, you can see the uh, the size of uh, Dornock, and uh, you know, being that it's his first race, uh, he ran a good race, uh, and uh, you know, I. He lost by a length and a half here. Anyway, so that's uh, that's a short uh, video of Dornock's first race, and uh, he took second. Number two sees the gray was won first. His first race, but uh, for Dornock second, it's a photo for third. Dornock uh, is yeah, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. That's that's all I can say. Um, he looks really good here, and uh, but you know maybe on the inside of the nine, track, it's, uh, it's a little softer and four, there. Five, private desire. Uh, Two, four, four, nine, five just on the off the rail, so uh, that that could be could be a factor in in why he, he kind of didn't finish that well. Anyway, that's it, folks. Um, I'm going to put this on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, just as a change up and uh, for my poker and uh, I hope to get a poker game in this afternoon that uh, that I can put on there. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, this is Laughlin 007 checking out.